as I said yesterday, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the world wound um, of Golarion, which is the area where the um, Wrath of the Righteous Pathfinder game is set. The um, card game is not the only game that's available. There is also a whole adventure path as an RPG um, that can be downloaded or bought um, at Paizo. <coughs> And I'm just going to read the first uh, couple of lines from the background. Because the world wound itself is quite different from the rest of Galarion in that it actually um, opens up the abyssal plane. Um, so, for example, if you've played or if you're familiar with um, Rise of the Rune Lords, that is a very different part of the world. The world wound itself basically opened up at some point um, um, and opened a portal, if you like, or opened a bridge to the abyssal plains where the demons reside. So since then they have been flooding into Golarion and the world wound has actually expanded over, um, when it first opened for um, six months, it, it expanded into the worlds around it and actually destroyed them. So the adventure background, as quoted in the incursion of the world wound uh, adventure path, is as follows. For decades, demons have ruled the world wound. Fearsome fiends of every stripe, their mottled skin harder than iron, teeth like serrated blades, and eyes burning with abyssal flames. They roam the ruined lands that were once known as Sarkoris, leaving their mark wherever they go. And you can actually see the difference um, <clears throat> when you look at the different adventure paths that are available for Pathfinder. And this is also reflected, of course, in the card games, because when you look at the henchmen and when you look at the villains, they are all either demons themselves or people who conjure demons or try to, I guess, dominate demons and make them do things for their own ends. Um, if you go to the web, you will find the most beautiful and evocative artwork um, for the world wound. And I'm also going to, so the pictures you're seeing while I'm talking are actually taken from the web and they give you an impression of what the world wound and its, some, of their, some of its inhabitants look like or what they seem to look like. Um, and this is also the reason why I didn't go with Rise of the Rune Lords. I had played Rise of the Rune Lords as an adventure RPG and it's a nice setting, but the world wound has a much darker appeal to it um, and it's also a little bit more uh, gray rather than black and white I mean there are corrupt paladins for example um, so not everybody who is a good person is a good person so from a I guess from an RPG point of view it's it's much more interesting to play um, and so when I saw that there was a PACG based on um, the world wound rather than um, the, rune, the rise of the rune lords, which is a really good adventure, don't get me wrong, I decided not to go with the first box set, but with, and I didn't go for the skull and shackles one, which is the second box set, um, because I just don't like pirates. Um, I don't know, I just don't like pirates, I find them uninteresting and um, it just doesn't appeal to me um so yeah i'm really looking forward to playing the pathfinder um adventure card game uh, wrath of the righteous i played my first scenario yesterday and i made many of mis many mistakes and um i wasn't playing too well so i'm going to actually give you um some more insights into my play later today <laughs> 